Hey everybody, this is a pretty neat setup. This is a, we're uh, boiling sap, making maple syrup for the, well, this is year number two for us, but with this system, it's year number one. Pretty neat setup. So what we have here is we have a, a, a barrel that I go around and collect sap from the trees. So that drops into my, my uh, wagon on the back of the four-wheeler. We go collect the sap. Bring it in here, raise it up in the air so it's above the uh, transfer pump, which is pulling it out of the barrel and then going through this reverse osmosis system, which takes the water, a large majority of the water, out of the uh, sap and then leaves what's referred to as concentrate, um, higher sugar content, which will cut down on my boil time. So that comes out through this pump system. Raw sap goes through that filter. You can see I'm running about a, just a little over 100 PSI. And then it goes through these four reverse osmosis filters, which inside those are membranes, which allow for the water to pass through the membrane and then be discarded out the bottom of each one of these but it will not let the molecules, which are thicker for the sugar content to pass through the membrane. So that gets passed on through that connection on the left and it runs it through four individual membranes. This isn't new for a lot of you who know about reverse osmosis, but I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, our, my uh, adjustment pressure needle there so I can keep my pressure where it needs to be. I got my uh, sap and water measuring jars there so that when I get it dialed in when I first start it up I've got to have about a two to one ratio on my um, water to sap and that filters it out at the highest uh, rate and then these travel outside to the storage containers which is here for the water or the permeate and then it goes through here to this storage tank which is the concentrate and that is getting ready to feed the evaporator once I start to boil so this is the wood evaporator the uh, pipe comes out of there and it goes into a pre-warmer box which isn't on there right at the moment because I got the cover on then that pre-warmer feeds into the float box, which helps maintain the level of the sap in the pan at all times. And then this is a divided pan, which will uh, continually boil, pass through the different compartments, and end up in this last compartment here. And eventually we'll draw off pure maple syrup. So it's been a neat project, built the uh, evaporator from about three million parts that came in a box so that was a fun project to put together and then just laying this all out has been a fun project looking forward to starting a boil uh, this week and uh, getting some maple syrup right Duke what do you think ready for some maple syrup yeah I bet you are so stay tuned we'll do a video coming up here on uh, the syrup part of it uh, later in the week.